What's going on YouTube? It's the FRS in here back with another video. And today I would like to be talking about how much I've spent on the FRS. I got a lot of questions on Instagram saying how much have I spent on total on my car and I always send them to my old video when I talked about how much I spent to it on it. I'm not gonna go over those parts to the car, but I'm gonna add it to the final price. But if you wanna know what that number was from, you should go check out that video. I'll also leave it at the end of the video too. Let's get into how much I've spent in the car. So I have a list on my phone, so I'm gonna just be reading, reading out what I've spent now. Mind you, this is not including all the turbo stuff, the injectors, the fuel pump, the tune for it and all that stuff, cause I haven't put that on the car yet, so I'm not including that. So there's more to that price at the end, but I'm not gonna put that in the video. So starting off, the cheapest that I spent so far since the other mods was $150 on the muffler delete. Um, just a cheap muffler delete, just needed something back there. The next thing would be the Spec D headlights, which was $461.35. If I could go back, I'll probably get the VLAN ones just cause it's probably better quality, but I love the look of it and you know, how my videos turn up now with those headlights. Now the next expensive thing is a $500 stage to tune from Delicious Tuning. I tuned it on E85 and a Catless Headers. Um, the next expensive thing, $920 JDL Catless Unequal Length Headers for the FRS. It's currently not on because I just sold it for $600. So yeah, I just got to ship it out, but I bought those for $920. The next expensive thing is the flex fuel kit, EcuTech, and license, and a tune. That's actually the first tune that I got, but that's like a whole kit that I got together, and that was fourteen hundred sixty-five dollars and seventy-eight cent. Oh, and I missed a expensive thing, but the other expensive thing that I bought for the car was eleven hundred dollars and thirty carbon fiber hood to have vents in my hood and it had more airflow, so I needed that. And the last expensive thing, which is the biggest one that I bought so far for this time period, besides the turbo stuff, was $3,766 bags. Right now, it's not lowered right now because it's like, you know, stock height right now, but you know, it's not aired out, but $3,766 bags, so. That's not really including like other stuff I had to buy for it, but that's like the total price. But for the total price for the FRS would be $9,323.13. <sighs> yeah, that's, that, that's a lot. That's a lot for just all this stuff. Oh, and did I say tires? Well, I have $930 tires, so I don't think I said that. $930 tires, so yeah, but it all comes up to $9,323. Now, let's add that to the price of my last video, which was $33,375. So in total, how much I spent on my car on total, not including the turbo stuff, is $42,000. Six hundred and ninety-eight dollars and thirteen cent. Yeah, it's 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 definitely a lot to this car stuff. Uh, you could go a cheaper route. If I could go back, actually, I'll save that for another video. If you guys want tips on what I would do as first mods for your car, um, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and you know. I'll get it to you. We're almost at a thousand subs, so I really appreciate the support. And if you want to see more videos like this, you know, comment down below. But I'll also do another pricing for the turbo stuff once I have it on the car and everything's up and running. So thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for another video and peace out.